Ah, uh, imagination, motivation. Hello. We're gonna paint or draw. We're gonna draw. And uh, today we're drawing. What are we drawing? We're... We're characters. Character design. When was the last time you created a character? Ever since I was a little kid, I have always just wanted to make little people and characters and stuff. And I loved cartoons all the time. I loved cartoons. And so. It took me like 40 something years to figure out like what characters I like the best. And it was a combination of a few things that that did it for me. And when I was a kid, we would always draw like the same kind of characters. Me and my friend Jeff would always draw these little people with little teeth. Like, I don't know. We'd draw these. Little, I would draw these little guy. He would draw some other type of things. But they always had like football heads, you know. Remember football head? It was like <laughs> little tiny chins. Or something when I was a kid, I always did faces like this little hair, like that, maybe a little chin hair. I don't know, I don't know, you know, we just make something up. So, my characters have come a long way, but the way the thing I think about a lot is like I used to think, like, well, what is different than anybody else's characters, right? I'm like, I gotta make my characters look different than any character I've ever seen before. But then I realized something from, because the thing I always wanted to do was animation when I was a kid. And I got a few animation programs. And now you can like do the whole cartoon yourself. There's great technology out there. But the thing that I realized is the simpler the character, the easier it is to animate. So my character design has simplified a lot since, since the days of... You know, but if you're just doing like a little comic strip or something, I mean, you can elaborate, but simple is better, I find, you know, most of the time. Simple is just way better. And uh, I was like spending too much time on hands and just all this different stuff. So, so over time, I discovered that I like certain things in characters, like because I watch a lot of cartoons <laughs> and there's certain things about characters I really like. Like, for instance, when there's like, a dot for an eye. I really enjoy just the dot. Not a whole circle or nothing. Just a dot. And you don't even have to have a nose. You know, but like when that mouth is really close to the eyes like that. There's something about that. It's always like cute. You know, it's like a little baby or something. And then you can add like crazy big hair or something like that. But I like I like that style face where there's just, you know, two eyes wide and then a little tiny mouth in between. And you can put that on any type of character, you know, and it works pretty easy for a simple character. And you know, if you're animating it, the simpler the hands are and the feet are, it saves you so much time. <laughs> Just saying. So then, you know, you have like the character's body. And after drawing so many characters after so long, I realized I go after the same kind of stuff that I like in cartoons. So I like, when bodies are are lanky but like simplified I don't know I really like boots a lot on characters so I draw like big boots on characters a lot and I usually do mine pretty quick and I don't spend too much time on the hands I just do little squiggles because you know why why it's a cartoon character you don't need to I don't need to be all or whatever I don't know maybe someone else maybe for specific characters but for, for the characters I like to draw I just now I draw specific characters that I draw over and over again like the wizard I'll draw the wizard real quick I always draw his hat you know he's got that big star on it it's always he's always got like similar things going on and he's got his I throw his nose under there he's got this kind of nose and little tiny eyes because he's like peering out at the world and then his little tiny face some little ears and then a beard you know he's got his beard in there somewhere and his little mouth and then you know he's always got his his big robed hand coming out and holding on to a staff you know so he's got like this and there's like a staff here and then he you know he's got like this robe that comes out like that it's super easy to draw and animate you can have his little hand like that and then i always draw just like little stick legs with big boots so it's like I keep the same outfit and everything you don't have to change clothes it's recognizable same kind of boots same quick little style right so then you can add a couple little pockets maybe some patches or something a little patch here 
And then, you know, he's always the same kind of character. Put some hair back there. And then it's good to have like an animal character, which is Tarrant, you know. And Tarrant's I draw the same every time. But basically how I developed these characters was my favorite stuff in every cartoon and every animation and everything I liked and what became comfortable, you know, drawing over and over again. So I don't know what I'm doing there. Terrence has got a big mouth today. Uh, and then, you know, I just would repeat it over and over again until I get, you know, the same type of characters. And I tried different arms. I tried different hands. I still go back and forth with Terrence and his feet. I'm always changing his feet. But this is like the simple version of him. He always has a couple different types of bodies. Sometimes I make his legs like that. And sometimes I just make him little stumps. But I always forget his tail. I'm like, oh shit. I go back and put his tail later on a lot. So, you know, it's just having two characters to play off each other is really well. That was really good like for storytelling and shit. So you have two characters. Try to just come up with two characters. Usually a person and an animal is really good combo. But pick an animal that is, like, expressive, you know. I like to put a little fanny pack on this guy. Who knows what's in there? He could just bust out anything at any time. It's like his little bag of tricks. And then Terrence has got, like, I mean, not, not Terrence, but the wizard has, like, magic. And it's just, he could just do anything. He can teleport them, whatever. And he's always got all the stuff. He's, like, the little sidekick. So, and then, you know, have a bunch of side characters. You come up with your own, like, universe after a while. Your own little storylines and stuff with the more characters you come up with and try to figure out how they're going to interact with each other like at first when i first started making stories and little characters and i th i was like i can't i can't even think of a story like i'm not how do i think of stories and then i realized that i just have to make the characters first and then keep drawing them they, they kind of like take on a life of their own and the different expressions they have and like you come up with a backstory and if you do it all the time you're like oh these guys are going here you just have to put them in a place and then they're like all of a sudden th there's a story there like this guy has all these traits and this guy has all these traits and then you put them in a location and it's, the story just tells itself you know and th and the, all the stories are the same throughout all shows it feels like so designing a character what are your favorite eyeballs maybe you like the ones that look like pac-man like that you know those are kind of cool i used to draw those a lot when i was a kid and noses, what kind of noses you like? Maybe a circle, or maybe like a big mouth like this, and it's open, and then you put a tongue back there, and some teeth like this, and just a little. You know, I used to draw these characters a lot, just like these animaniac type characters. Look at, just make them some ears. Whoop, whoop. My pen is dying. Ah! And it's very important to make sound effects when you draw. This is one of the best things about drawing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so like, do you like little dots for eyes? Maybe tiny little ears? And then just big old giant heads like this? With like a little bit of hair? What does that look? That kind of looks like somebody done it. What does that look like? I don't know. But, you know, figure out what kind of noses you like. Maybe just like that kind of nose. You know, maybe you like, uh, maybe you like the little up nose like this. That works for like a little girl sometimes. A little girl characters have a nice little pointy nose going up. Put some bangs in there. Some whoop, whoop, whoop. Ponytails. I like that character. I came up with that one recently when looking at Wolf Puppy's kid picture on her Instagram. I was like, this kind of looks like Wolf Puppy. And then I was drawing Karen Savage a bunch at the time. So as a little kid feeding the bunnies. So I ended up drawing this little girl character a bunch. She's kind of a combination of both of them. And then she has this little nose like that. And these tiny little eyes. She's all squinting. And these little, tiny little ears. Little tiny chin. Little tiny. And she's got a big smile like that. She's super stoked to be out and about. And then she's got her little osh gosh big goshes. <laughs> you know, she's got her little tiny things and then she's got her little boots of course because I put boots on all my characters so I think the important thing is just looking at all characters and seeing which ones you are attracted to the most like when you watch cartoons what characters do you like more than the other characters like if you were to have your own cartoon 
you know what would look good so maybe a combination of what's easy to animate you know and then what's uh what's what's you know what's uh what's not easy to animate you know, kind of narrow things down you know like she would be a little difficult to animate because you got to put you got to rig up some bone thing for her arms and stuff but like a simple version of her would be like you do like a simpleized cartoony version that i mean not cartoony version they're all cartoon but like a easy to animate version i was trying to think of a different way of saying it but that's basically it easy to animate so you would just do like maybe a little tiny body like that with like and then this like little stick arms or something just one not two joints just one joint you know and then a little hands I usually do hands like this little sticks you get the point across you know you don't need this whole big version of that but that's way harder to animate than that is <laughs> this you can like wobble back and forth and just kind of super easy make the arms go up and down you know and a lot of times with animation, it's just fooling the person into thinking the character is doing something. Like, it's funny how you watch animation and a lot of the shots are just long shots or scenery or something. And all the action shots are like illusionary, illusory. Like, like when they're all fighting and tumbling and there's just a puff of smoke, you're like, there's something going on in there, but I don't see shit. Just an arm every once in a while. Just like a big old thing of smoke with an arm coming out and a leg over here, you know. Just like, oh, they're fighting in there. You know, and it's like, oh, there's something happening. Like, it, you could do all kinds of stuff like that. Or, or like, where it's just the top of the character's head, and they're, like, just looking at something, and their mouth is down here, and you can't, like, they're just all, oh, no, 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 and you can't see what they're saying, you know, but their whole head is up here. It's, you know, there's shortcuts in animation. Close-ups and, you know, shots of stuff while they're talking. But, you know, it's good to think about what you'd like to see in a character, like, Let's see, what's another one I used to draw a lot of? I, I did a lot of uh, ones where the eyes were like this. This this is very Disney, you know, where the eyes are real big inside there. That was my favorite for a long time, but then I, I just stopped doing it because it looked too Disney to me. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Do these little eyes like that and then, like, give them, like, a nice fat nose. And we'll just give this guy a mustache. That's easy. Mustaches are easy. Then we'll bottom lip action. <laughs> then we'll give them some big ears. I like big ears on characters. I think I think it's good, but it's a little harder to animate. And then we could give him like a big butt chin, like a ball chin, maybe. He's a ball chinian. <laughs> and then the forehead. Woo! Maybe some wrinklies. Maybe some eyebrows. And then like, I could give him a hat. Hats are cool, I like hats. And then we'll stick some hair in there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's see what kind of hat should he have. Should have like a, some kind of like a adventure hat. No, just like that, that's fine, whatever. And then the shade underneath. It helps to just be fast at stuff. Look at, we'll just, he just shaved, but he's got it. He's got some stubble already. Look at that. That's pretty graphic. That's funny though. Look at that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and then, you know, we could like put it, we could make his body really small. Have his arms come out like this. But I think the most important thing is just to have fun with it and think about what you, what would you want to draw all the time? You know, you want your characters to be easy and fun. You know, and be able to play off each other. And then you can introduce other characters, you know, but come up with two characters that can interact and start hanging out, you know. All you have to do is breathe life into it and it becomes its own thing. So, come up with some characters. It's fun. Let's put some little dots on this hat. Maybe a feather. It's very important to make sound effects. While you draw, there you go. All right, go draw some things I want to hear about your adventure. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad you're awake. There you go. Ah, don't forget to subscribe right here on this channel because 
Did you hear me? I just gurgled right here on my YouTube channel. It's a good place to be. Can learn something, maybe. Not. Maybe or not. Maybe or not. Something. Uh, do you follow me on YouTube? Or, or how do you, what is it? Follow? Subscribe? And then back in the day only, Jesus had subscribers, I mean followers. And then like magazines and stuff, they had like, you know, they had like subscriptions. But now we all can have them. It's amazing. It's an amazing thing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it.